in the vast landscapes of North America, an ancient force, so powerful and ruthless, once erased the entire megafauna from existence. Meet Graham Hancock, a British writer and sociologist. While his roots lie in journalism, he is more widely recognized for his unconventional scientific theories, often labeled as conspiracy or pseudoscience. Join us as we delve into 10 of Graham Hancock's most intriguing and controversial theories, unraveling mysteries that challenge mainstream historical accounts. Let's start with the Hall of Records in Ancient Egypt. Hancock suggests a mythical library within the Sphinx, housing the knowledge of a lost civilization. Despite skepticism, he relies on seismic surveys and local folklore, pointing to hidden chambers beneath the Sphinx. According to Hancock, survivors from Atlantis built this ancient library, documenting their technological advancements, history, and spiritual practices. A theory inspired by Edgar Cayce's mention of the Hall of Records. Hancock's exploration doesn't stop there. He dives into prehistoric art, questioning depictions of supernatural entities. By studying cave paintings and ancient traditions involving hallucinogenic plants, he derives extraterrestrial interactions with humans in altered states of consciousness. Next, Hancock turns to a global cataclysm around 12,800 years ago. A comet strike, detailed in Magicians of the Gods, led to the sudden end of advanced civilizations. Remnants of this lost world, he claims, can be found in ancient sites like Gobekli Teep in Turkey. Antarctica, usually associated with ice, becomes a canvas for Hancock's theories. He proposes Earth's crustal displacement, shifting the continent and revealing a lost civilization. Survivors, according to Hancock, influenced various cultures worldwide, leaving behind traces of advanced knowledge. Now, journey to Egypt and revisit the Great Pyramid of Giza. Hancock challenges the traditional belief that the Egyptians constructed these marvels around 2600 BC. Instead, he suggests an older, more advanced civilization created the pyramids, leaving their mark on the world. The Lost City of Atlantis, a tale told for centuries. While many consider Plato's description allegorical, Hancock believes Atlantis was a factual prehistoric civilization. He links it to Antarctica, claiming a catastrophic event shifted the continent and led to the city's demise. Hancock extends his exploration to ancient civilizations and extraterrestrials. Questioning the sudden technological leaps of cultures like the Egyptians and Mayans, he proposes the possibility of otherworldly influence through altered states of consciousness induced by psychoactive plants. Intrigued by biblical accounts, Hancock shifts focus to the Ark of the Covenant. Contrary to popular belief, he suggests the Ark wasn't lost but transported to Ethiopia for safekeeping. Additionally, he proposes the Ark as an ancient technological device, possibly an electrical capacitor. Sacred geometry theory takes us to the profound understanding of specific shapes and patterns by ancient civilizations. Hancock argues that these patterns, evident in structures like the pyramids and Stonehenge, were deliberate attempts to align with cosmic energies for spiritual development. Lastly, the Sphinx and the Age of Leo. Hancock challenges the accepted age of the Sphinx, proposing it was built during the Age of Leo around 12,500 years ago. He supports this theory with evidence of erosion patterns and celestial alignments. While Hancock's theories face opposition, they've sparked curiosity and encouraged deeper exploration of our past. As we challenge existing historical narratives, who knows what unconventional theories may emerge. Feel free to make any adjustments or let me know if you have specific preferences.